if you're a fan of, of weather, go for the planets because they just, they're, they're smoking. It's all the wonderful weather you get here on Earth just turned up larger, faster, stronger. Winds coming out of the east at 800 miles per hour and uh, occasional partly cloudy methane clouds. Every year there's something that's revealed that we've never expected. You know, a hurricane on the south pole of Saturn. Who expected that? You can find dust storms, that uh, dust devils that are as big as tornadoes on, on Mars. If we saw clouds, they would not be this white color. They're actually a tannish yellow color. They're full of, believe it or not, sulfuric acid droplets. Very nasty stuff. I was a graduate student during the Voyager time and that was launched in 77 and they had the Jupiter encounters in 79 and that's when I was in high school so when I was deciding my career was when the discoveries about Jupiter were made by Voyager so that formed my opinion of what I wanted to do. The warmest point on Saturn is the South Pole. It's only about minus 200. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculously cold. There's a hexagon wave in the atmosphere shaped like a kindergarten hexagon, perfect, one of the most perfect geometric shapes in the whole world. If I understand how a thunderstorm works on Earth, do I think I understand how a thunderstorm works on Jupiter? How strong is the lightning on Jupiter? You know, these are the kind of questions you can ask yourself, and then you can start to see, can I predict the weather on the other planets? And can I use that information to improve the weather forecasts on Earth? The biggest need right now is uh, to understand the weather on Earth compared to Mars because Mars is going to have people on it in just a few decades. The winds on Mars are like the winds on Earth. They come like they are today here. They're coming from the east, the west, the north, and south. Mars is the other planet in the solar system where you need a, a full-time meteorologist because the weather changes every 15 minutes, just like on Earth. Both Jupiter and Saturn I would consider to be among the most predictable weather. You can tell where their storms are going. They're going east-west, and the reason is they're locked in these jet streams, these alternating jet streams. They're like conveyor belts that roll and the storms roll like ball bearings between them. There was a, a mathematical model for the winds on Jupiter, these alternating back and forth winds. And I can remember the winds on Jupiter and then the model and I plotted the two of them and I thought I'd made a mistake because they lined up perfectly. I mean they lined up so good I couldn't see the difference. And I remember that you know you get those chills when you realize that you didn't make a mistake. In fact, the model and the, the winds were exactly the same, and so it was just precise. You get the goosebumps with that. That was cool.